Hello and welcome. This is Wendy and I am so excited to share with you today a couple of cards with the Bouquet Blooms stamp set and framelit set. Now this set is in the annual catalog and I really feel like it's been overlooked, especially by me. <laughs> I have had this set for quite some time because I thought the gatefold card idea was so cool that these dies make and I just haven't used it and so I'm gonna use it now and I hope you really like it and I hope you buy it because it's a great bundle. It is in the annual catalog on page 167. This is Stampin' Up's, um, I guess you would say, prototype size for this card which is five by nine and then you just use the dies to cut it and there is a whole video on how to do that and I've put it on my blog so if you want to watch that video you can but it's done by Stampin Up. I decided to make a different size card um, and so we are using a four and a quarter by eleven inch piece of cardstock and we're going to score it at three and five eighths and then eight and one eighth. And this is going to create a totally different shape for this card and size. So, and it kind of uses just that traditional four and a quarter by 11. So you can get two cards out of one sheet of cardstock doing this. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm going to do opposite of what the other video tells you to do. And I'm lining the very edge of the die up with the edge of the paper. So this edge of the die and then the top needs to be lined up. So this is how it would be if I was cutting it the other way, but I want it to go at a different size. So in order to do that, you have to line the opposite edge up with the, the edge of the paper and then the top of the die up with the top of the paper. So I'm going to run it through my big shot and when I do I end up with an end piece and so I'm going to show you this is the other end so you have to cut each end. This is the other end and again I'm lining it up with the edge of the paper on both the top and the side and you end up with a piece of cardstock that looks like this. Then I wanted to cut a layer to go on top of the card base so I'm going to scoot this in just a little bit and this is cut at four by three and a half I believe. So on the four inch side I cut so that it will line up with those leaves and leave a little bit of a white edge. Now if I made this again I would actually go ahead and make it four and a quarter inches wide so that there was no white edge showing but when I did it the first time I thought it would be pretty with a white edge I ended up not liking that as much. I kind of wish I would have um, cut it the full size. So then I'm going to layer this piece on top of the, of the card base and it will give my leaves this beautiful green, soft green look. This is soft seafoam cardstock by the way if you love this color like I do and need to know what it is. It is soft seafoam. All of the products that I'm using today are listed in the description below the video, so you can purchase them in my online store. Um, we're almost done with celebrations. So Celebration is an awesome promotion that Stampin' Up! runs, um, and the cool thing about it is you get free product with every $50 that you spend, or you can get a second level product um, at $100. Now my, I must have lined these up just a smidge off and it did tear my paper just a tiny bit when I closed it, but I'm not going to worry about it. As I always say, and I stole this from Jennifer McGuire, it's handmade, it's not Hallmark. So um, I'm perfectly fine with it having a little bit of a tear there at the corner of that flower. I'm not going to sweat it. I'm using Highland Heather here to, uh, no, that's not Highland Heather. It's Gorgeous Grape. I'm using Gorgeous Grape to stamp my first flower. And then I'm bringing in scraps of cardstock and I'm using, nope, I'm lying again. It is Highland Heather. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna use Calypso Coral and So Saffron. And I, I know it's Highland Heather because I'm focusing on subtles. 
because I thought, you know, with it being getting close to Easter time, I wanted to do something with an Eastery springy feel, but not really an Easter card. And this week, I'm really going to be focusing in on products from the annual catalog. And next week, I'm so excited. On Monday, I start my celebrating women series and it's all month long the entire month of April I'm going to be celebrating women on my blog and so I'm going to have different projects and different things posted celebrating the women in my life that have made an impact on me and um, I hope you enjoy the series it's going to be really fun okay so story time while I'm assembling this card and then I'm just going to assemble the second card as well um, and again that card stock base on the second card is cut at five by nine and um, at this point I'm convinced that most of you that show up show up more for story time than you do for anything else so <laughs> um, the again if you want the measurements and information visit my blog and you can also watch that video on my blog from Stampin' Up! And they talk there about how to make their version of this card. So story time is really not a story. It's just what's going on in my life. So husband worked all weekend. He has not had a day off now in like eight days. And so he's got to work all week. And it's been crazy. And then I decided in all my infinite wisdom that I should do a, that I should host Easter. And so I have taken on the task of hosting Easter, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. But I'm also, I, it's always a double-edged sword with me. I love hosting events, and but then I'm always a stress case until they get here. So this time I've decided that I am not going to stress about it. I am just going to enjoy hosting it and enjoy having my family. And if my house isn't perfectly clean and the yard's not perfectly coiffed and we've not done everything perfect, I'm just not going to care. I've just already made that decision because you know what? Life is about the experiences, right? And visiting and loving on each other and seeing each other and spending um, Easter together. And I, all the years that I've ever attended an event at somebody's home or at a, at a place, do you know not one time have I ever looked around and been like, oh, clearly she did not dust before we came. So... If I don't notice that, probably nobody else does either. I mean, listen, I don't live in a pig pen. I'm not trying to make it nasty. I don't, you know, like the house will be clean. But I just, I've gotten so caught up in everything looking perfect and feeling perfect and seeming perfect over the years because I want that Pinterest feel. I want that you know, Instagram perfect, like, photo or whatever. And I'm over it. I've just decided I am pushing 40 and life is just too short. Why am I stressing over if something looks perfect? And it's kind of like that card earlier. I know some people who would have simply thrown it out and been like, nope, I'm not using that. I'm not giving that to anybody. I don't want anybody to see that, which is fine for those people. I'm not judging, but I am saying that we all like spend way too much time caring what other people think. We spend more time thinking about what other people think about us than other people spend thinking about us. <laughs> That is so stupid. Isn't it stupid? And I think women are the worst. We are the worst about that. So anyway, that's my little soapbox for today is just, girl, you do you. Don't worry about what other people are doing. And nobody even cares what you're doing, right? I mean, nobody cares. So, and I don't mean that in a rude way, like nobody cares. You know what I'm trying to say here. Like, we all obsess way too much over the simple things, and I'm just done. I'm tired of it. I'm not doing it anymore. Well, I probably still will because I've done it for years, but I'm going to get better. It's like a goal. It's a mission. 
for me to get better about that stuff. And then, um, so with hosting Easter comes a lot of responsibility of organizing who's bringing what. So that's what I've been working on. I've got um, a list and I'm doling out the, the dishes that I want each person to bring because there's women in my family that cook amazing and in my husband's family that cook amazing. So I'm giving them their best dishes to create for us and we'll get to have those for Easter Sunday. Okay, I would love to hear from you what your Easter Sunday plans are. And if you want to watch other videos from me, you can click on either one you see here. Click on the circle with my face in it to subscribe. And I hope you have an amazing week and continue to tune in. Bye-bye.